towards Nevada and Arizona and New Mexico and everywhere else. It's the silhouette of the Pecos, Texas sign as we cross under the bridge. The sun is setting in the west. We are driving directly west towards the sun. It should be a fun live stream. Join us later tonight. We'll be uh, live in New Mexico and Arizona. Do the across the mountains again in the dark. Hopefully tonight there'll be some sort of a moon. We'll deal with what we get. Nice bright skies today as we uh, travel into Odessa and back out. Evan Morrill, hey now. Welcome, good to have you here. Thanks for checking in. Mrs. Cash is here. Sushi is here. Jennifer is here. The town of Pecos is here. Steven, how you doing? Welcome. It's been a beautiful, warm day. William Weir, good day, Coach and Mrs. Cash. Good day back to you. Tracy, greetings, fellow loons. Mr. and Mrs. Susan G. Hello again. So about an hour plus of sunshine out here. We are chasing the sun. So we'll get a little additional sunshine as we keep going. Not sure how long the internet will hold up, at least to the town of Van Horn. Jane M. Hello. Keon Green. Hello. Are we uh, we left out dust in our dust. Maddie C. We're on the way back to Arizona, definitely. Christopher C. Thank you very much. So far, so good. Teresa, go coach, Mrs. Uh, Cash, and everyone stay safe. Can't stay, but wanted to say, hey, thank you, Teresa. We're about all these oil wells you keep hearing about. Well, we're in the middle of oil country. It's where they make the oil. You just uh, put a little bucket in the ground and it comes out. We may see some more. We've actually passed most of the. Uh, big rigs, but out here in the Pecos, we'll see some more. I'm trying to keep it zoomed in so the sunshine doesn't go directly into the lens. Hoping the big clouds will block it again. Got a Dickies. That's a new. Two years ago. Susie Luck has arrived. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Cash. Hello. Texas tea. We're having Texas Diet Coke. It's chewy water. Odessa. Hadn't changed much in two and a half years. Got our work done eventually. Wolf, wolf. Welcome. Pretty good internet coming in from Interstate 10, jumping on the 20 here. We still have about 40 some miles on the 20. Jump back on the 10, takes us into Van Horn. We'll get some gasoline, keep on going. El Paso, Las Cruces, Deming, Lordsburg, Tucson. And if I have enough energy, all the way back to Scottsdale tonight. 1229 TMC, how you doing? We are almost there. It's another eight and a half, nine hours. Tracy Ellison, welcome. Just won 350 at Del Mar. Cool. Nice job, Keon. Which horse? Four in the fourth. Marnie B, hello, welcome. We're out West Texas way right now. Phillips to you. How are you? Why playing Curacao in the Little League World Series tomorrow? Cool. Is that for the uh, international division? Hawaii being international? Or is that for the championship? All the island nations. Lexington in the seventh. Wow. 
sexta and a trifecta. Wow, very nice. I always bet Lexington. Bought a cabinet like that one time. The real honest truth, hell of you. How are you doing? <laughs> Couldn't even say it. How are you doing? Speed limit on here, 80 U.S. miles per hour. It's Vegas time. No, it's the championship game? Oh, wow. Congratulations to Hawaii again. Lost track of that. 205 to El Paso. Hello, Loon and Lunettes. Got a couple of uh, YouTubers uh, doing some hotel reviews this weekend, so look for that coming out. Day's been going great. We got our uh, objective completed, and we're on our way back now. Pan Joe, welcome. Uh, mostly everyone here is doing 90, yes. Those that uh, pass us are used, doing up to 100. A hundy. Uh, will I be bringing back the Odessa file with me? I cannot confirm nor deny. There's a real good chance I was on a secret private eye mission out here. There's also a real good chance I would. It'd be like 50-50. Mary M, thank you very much. There we go. Missed out on the moving? <laughs> It's a lot of fun. You see, Evil Knievel Museum is going uh, by the English. That's the plan. That is the plan. Breaking Bad Retirement Bunker is ready. Yes, can't wait to go. Texas DPS Highway Patrol pass you at 85 to 90, always. They're in a hurry, too. Here's a burn off. Here's some of the oil rigs still. You can see on the left and the right. On the left here with the sun going down, you can kind of see the flame burning. Let's see if I can zoom in for you there. There it is. It's burning off the excess fuel. Looks like a beacon. It's just flame. That's natural gas burn off. Captain Crunch 72, welcome. Sinking Vegas Sunrise. Hey, Coach, we can't thank you enough for the stay at this beautiful property. Bummer, we miss you. Uh, maybe in October we'll get a thank you in person. Yes, definitely. Let's get together. The diet sodas, you guys try all the diet beers. Let's see how it goes. Looked like a lot of fun. I, I missed hanging out with you guys, with you and uh, all the different uh, YouTubers you hang out with. Hopefully the room has met your expectations. The food has been beyond belief. And uh, the complimentary uh, in-room shower ballet worked for you. Ricky, how you doing? Welcome. Thank you for the $10 Super Chat. Seeking Vegas Sunrise. Seeking Texas Sunrise and Sunsets. 81 miles to Van Horn. We should be good the whole way. These gas-burning flames look uh, eerily while driving at night. Yeah, it's like just a bunch of... Uh, Candles on a cake. Beyond on all accounts, very good. It appears that the beverages served at the nearby businesses are quite good too. It's fun to watch. All right, so here we go. We're gonna drive by this one. It's a burnout. You see the tall one off in the distance there burning. There's another one down past it. They get it up high there so that uh, it light up the sky. Meeting at the Regal Beagle tonight? Yes. That's just 24 hours a day burning off that natural gas. Devin Worrell for the new per fundraiser. All right. $10 super chat. Dang. Getting closer and closer. <laughs> 
Jen, my pleasure. Thanks for riding along. Holidays are great. Bart, what's up? Mike for Carol, good to have you here. Captain Crunch, those flares off fires are due to the uh, too much of the gas and too little in that. Well, yeah. There, uh, there's no storage for a lot of this stuff, so it just has to burn off so it doesn't explode. Yep. <laughs> you guys are going to have to re, uh, sing your own Three's Company uh, theme song. Right there. there you go. The lone birthday candle. Those refineries, oil processing plants. We get a one way or the other, yes, the purse. <laughs> It'd be nice to get the thousand subscribers before we make our final move to Texas, which is coming up in about three or four weeks, somewhere in there. Looks like we just drove through Bufferville. Uh, the Texas King with the Longhorns are up north of here a little bit. Greetings, Gale. Buffer in a bit, that's right, Thomas. We are back, we'll be back as much as we can until it goes dead, and then we'll pick it up. There's going to be a zone here where we do lose it, and then we'll pick it up about 80 miles outside of El Paso. Check one, two, three, four. And the 80, 80 miles out of El Paso, the sun should be behind the mountains, so we should be clear. All the way in, you can see the lights of El Paso and the lights of Juarez at night, it's very beautiful. Belinda, we are uh, about 14 miles towards the middle of nowhere, yes. Or is it, uh, yeah. We're way there. Thank you, Thomas. Appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. Just easing down the highway here at a cool 80 miles an hour. We get the long shadows going now. We are back. Been, yeah, I've driven through here at night. It's beautiful, yes. Plus the trip up and back to uh, Lubbock. About half of it's farmland, half of it's oil land. That was a good trip. <laughs> Have a garden in Texas? We will, yes. We grow lots of cool stuff. Lazy eye workouts. Saw the ghost town beat I made today? Cool. That's nothing Arizona. Neat little community. I actually used to have a working convenience store back in the 80s. I think I stopped there one time. That's probably why it no longer exists. My soda purchases alone would have kept them alive. That's right, the burn offs are uh, messing up the North Korean internet. Here's the uh, rest area with the oil uh, windmills there. Interesting. Coach's Gimbal, my pleasure. Take a break. You've earned it. Phil! Hello, Coach Fort Worth. We got real close to you, Phil. No, we'll, uh, we'll do lots of gardening videos. Love that stuff. We are just, uh, we're heading back towards Col uh, not College Station. What are we? Uh, El Paso. We were at uh, Odessa. We drove in this morning all the way from Las Cruces to Odessa. Did our business and now we're on our way back out. We're 24 miles from the 2010 intersection. Victor, how you doing? Ken? Uh, hold on. Office last stream. Customers said that your talking was like therapeutics. Oh, cool! I'll do that for you. Hey, coach. Sorry, I was late. I noticed you changed your name again. It's still not any shorter, but that's cool. You do you. Connie, how you doing? 
We'll see you in a little while. Coach is getting <laughs> Yeah, we're, uh, next step is uh, one more journey over here probably, and then uh, we'll go over to, from Dallas, we'll come over here and pick everything up and take it the rest of the way in. We noticed just how big of a truck we need to get everything on one trip. That was the big key to this trip. It's nice to see all the new YouTube channels. We have Bronze Office Plan, Coach's Gimbal. It's good to have you all. Be uh, sure to drop your links. I'm sorry, Gimbal. My bad. Uh, no, we turned around in the Odessa area. We're no longer in the area. We'll be in the uh, El Paso metro area in a few hours. Get to see El Paso and Juarez at night. <laughs> Comment retracted. Uh, Lumpy Rutherford. All right, El Paso is still 189 miles away. So at 60 miles an hour, that would be three hours. At 80 miles an hour, it's two and a half hours. Woodbrigger blows in and out, out of the water as far as awesome fast food. In and out doesn't have bacon. There you go. A NATO gang something or other. I'll be back. Got to do something. You go do something. RV Davy, what's up? How you doing? I'm trying to get as much distance as I can in the daylight. Mom's meatloaf, yum yum. There you go. Share some for everyone. Just a small sliver, so we can all get a taste. Yep, straight and flat, and then we're going to hit some mountains. There is no immigration checkpoint going the other way. Uh, when you go towards Texas, they have a checkpoint, and on the way back, there's no checkpoint. They don't care if you're leaving. Kick off in El Paso in 10 minutes. Cool. Tickets are sold out. Let's go North Texas. Honey, honey butter chicken biscuits at Whataburger, very delicious. Uh, we drove all the way into Odessa, did some uh, storage unit stuff. Lightning delay in uh, El Paso. Figured there'd be some great weather. In fact, yes, look at that storm. Oh my goodness. That's the direction we're heading. Look at that storm. I think we're going to get some rain and lightning tonight. Dang. brought my umbrella. KFC has honey packets sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> yes, Gary, we're all riding. At least it'll be nice in the town. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, we have an HEB treat I'll show you all here in a moment the box. There we go. Now if you guys have ever had these cinnamon sugar tortillas. delicious. That'll be all I want. I don't want any more. Cinnamon is good for you. I'm going to share those in the trunk for everybody. Those came from H-E-B. For dinner tonight, we have H-E-B cheese, H-E-B sliced deli meats, we had H-E-B sushi, 
Had pot stickers. What else do we have? Spring roll and uh, apple slices and uh, other snacks. Very delicious. But I'll just have that one. Yep, H E Binks all their own stuff. And their sushi is very good. No honey though. Look at that big, big storm. We're going right through that. <laughs> That's what you want on a t-shirt? <laughs> uh, pot stickers, yes. It's like a dumpling with uh, pork and whatever inside of it. So good. H-E-B is a grocery store in Texas. Herbert E. Butt, his family. It's the real name. You go by H-E-B and they are like a cross between a Walmart and a super fancy food store and a low budget food store all mixed together. Great produce, great fresh uh, fresh stuff. I can't breathe in your trunk of your car. I'm sorry about that severe weather. It's butt, yes, B-U-T-T. They're real peanut chicken strips. Uh, what it is also is they have all their own store brands. It's all Texas made and it's so good. And uh, my goodness, there was absolutely no shortage of anything. Uh, Mrs. Cash even commented on how all the shelves were stocked and full. Delicious. Found it in Kerrville. Cool. Uh, they were not scratch and sniff stickers. That's a whole different box I bought. Uh, yep, we're on our way back towards Vegas. We're going to make it all the way into Arizona tonight. Uh, his dad was not Seymour. No, no, no. We will uh, either make it to Tucson and sleep there, or I'll go all the way to Scottsdale if I can make it tonight. We'll see how much energy I have. And of course, we had our uh, Stripes sodas on the way out. I like it with the sun back behind the clouds now. Now we can haul. Yeah, exploding. Yeah. yeah, looks like an explosion of clouds. Very cool. Candy pecans or pecan logs? Yes, that is definitely in Texas. You have a broadcast voice for sure. Thank you. Yeah, I used to do uh, broadcasting at ASU, University of Hawaii, other places. Jeff Munn, who does the announcing for the Suns and a bunch of other sports in town in Phoenix. I used to be his understudy. Did a lot of radio work, TV weather, really bad movies. Uh, there's there's a whole case of water back there, severe weather coverage forecast. Uh, just watch out for the yellow ones. Those are not lemonade. It's from the previous trip. All right, doesn't that look like a mog mogwai? What are they called? Uh, mogwai? Not Mowgli, but the Mogwai from the uh, Gremlins movies. When you get them wet and they turn into more Gremlins or whatever. It kind of looks like you're... Or is that Baby Yoda? If you look from here, it looks like Baby Yoda. There we go. It's Grogu. No, Baby Yoda. The Baby Yoda, yeah. Screw it, Grogu. Bluebell homemade. Oh, wow. yeah. That's Grogu on steroids. So, Coach, are you going to hit a slot machine tonight? Nope. There's no slot machines to hit tonight. The only one we'd have an opportunity for is the one in uh, Sunland Casino, but I, that's not worth us stopping for. That's before water, the Kremlin after water, yes. Uh, we've opened up the AC back there for you. You should be fine now in the trunk, everybody. Plus, we picked up from our storage unit the uh, beanbag chairs back there. Should be enough for all 125 people in the trunk. Can't wait to get into the lightning there. Shauna, how you doing? Welcome. They figured out for me where I that little Shauna thing is from. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, when uh, Ferris Bueller's sister meets the, uh, what's his name, uh, oh, not Emilio Estevez, his brother, Charlie Sheen, and then there's that, because I guess when you were Sheen, it's in my brain, 
Walker. I watched how many times I watched Ferris Bueller. Once. Lots. RV Davy. So just in Vegas only then for a slot action. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. If we get up there uh, tomorrow night, we'll be there. But we'll probably just do Fremont Street tomorrow night. Shauna says, hello there, Mrs. Cash. And everyone in the chat, Mary says, has, HEB has the best guacamole dip. Yes. They make it right there at the store, yes. And they have that jelly, like your jellies with your, uh, your uh, chilies in it, whatever you think. Pepper, pepper jelly. Pepper jams. Yeah. Belinda, Gary, uh, explore hotel rates in Tucson near the airport. Yes. I've got my uh, Marriott discounts off to see what's available. Thomas Muscash, do you ever make homemade fry cakes? Not really, no, no. Just left Cosmo. No luck, but still fun. Okay, there you go. What did you play at the Cosmo, Tracy? HEBs are everywhere in Texas. Everywhere. They just open them up uh, like in Lubbock. White Cats, how you doing? Welcome. White Cats knows about HEB. Thomas got to try it. Talk about Friday Night Lights. The coach from that high school passed away last week. Yes. David S., how you doing? Welcome. White Cats, you got some uh, you got some uh, internet stuff that you do. If you want to share that with everybody, you can check it out. Help support what you do. Cosmo was brutal this past week for you as well. I've only been there one time when we did the, uh, with Doris who played the Kino for the uh, group poll for Kino Lady. Love H-E-B, that's right. What's Joe V's if you can't find H-E-B's? Trader Joe's? Great queso dip and a variety of diet soda flavors for sale. Yes, yes. They have everything. H-E-B is a full-on major grocery store. Tony, Tony, and Coach, you never, ever rest, always on the go, yes. Resting is for suckers. Coach, you need a TV to watch. There's no TV reception out in these parts of the world. Sorry. You guys have to do your own uh, pantomimes and plays in the trunk. Got to find a way to keep yourself occupied. Otherwise, I'm going to turn the uh, carbon dioxide on back there, and you can all sleep the rest of the way. Rain and thunderstorms ending in 23 minutes in El Paso. Okay. Is the uh, lightning still delaying the football game? Maybe that's why we got our delay to get out of there. Be stuck in the middle of all that right now. Beautiful sky. Look at how lit up that sky is. We'll be seeing the lightning soon. Definitely charge your batteries for storm coverage. Are we still in the hours in Oh, yeah. We'll be in and out with some buffering, so everybody hold on. Hello from Lubbock, yes. Lubbock has a big, beautiful new HEB a couple years ago. Jovi is a sack your own store by the HEB. Okay. Good deals. We'll take the car. East Maricopa County storms brewing, allegedly. Steve, we are now getting ready to intersect with Interstate 10 from Interstate 20. So if you look at a map of Texas, yep, limestone walls, exactly. If you look at a map of Texas in West Texas, uh, follow the Odessa, Midland Odessa area on Interstate 20 and Kerrville on Interstate 10 and come to where they intersect, and that's where we're at. We're a few miles away from that intersection. Then we're gonna head towards uh, Van Horn, and then on into uh, El Paso. Play the home map game. Lots of fossils, yes. There's lots of dinosaurs and things in Texas. There's a whole dinosaur river. I forget the name of it we went to one time. There's big brontosaurus footprints the kids played in when the water goes down. Jim, how you doing? Thanks for being here. Yeah, Van Horn is a fuel stop and a rest relief area. A 
lot of mountains in Texas. Yeah, we got real close to uh, Lubbock. Maybe in a couple we we'll come on through on our way down to go get some stuff. Take the uh, 40 up and over. Drop down after we get some catfish up in Amarillo. Then it's on its way. Van Horn is also the last name of the Arkansas baseball head coach. See, what a coincidence. You've had overnight rest stops in Van Horn? Yep. I've, I've crashed out at the uh, Red Roof Inn parking lot there. Ozona, yes. Another great town. Here we go. That's where the two in, uh, freeways intersect. Ronnie C., welcome. Just got off work. Cool. We are... Uh, Heading towards El Paso, New Mexico, Arizona. All right. 10 and 20 just merged. We're now 10. This is uh, Interstate 10 westbound. You can do a quick whippity whip right here and head right back to San Antonio if you want. You ran out of gas four miles from Fort Stockton? Oh, that sucks. To show you the way to Amarillo is exactly opposite of the way we're going right now. Catfish with good homemade tartar sauce? Oh, yeah. There's just something special about the Amarillo catfish. All right, I'm going to go around because you're in my way. Amarillo by morning. Straight up from San Antonio. There's some road construction out here. We may lose signal. If we do, we'll join you as soon as we can when we get closer to El Paso. I will definitely film the bad weather if we do lose signal. We'll try to keep you on without the sun's interference. We should have some good coverage. Hold on in the trunk. Just make sure we get as wide of an angle as we can there for you. Lots of debris on the road. It's a really cool looking sky. Love the clouds. Gonna run into the Chewbacca cloud, maybe. And right there. Yes, the trunk is is locked. If you would have been with us earlier, we were carrying mattresses back there, too. Big Texan Amarillo? Yes. You ever eat to try the 72-ouncer? I never have. I don't think I could. You gotta eat everything. The biscuits, the beans, all that stuff. Merge left. Oh, I'm torn between passing and not passing. We're not going to pass. Especially since the guy's driving in the middle of the highway. Total douche move. That'd be way W55 on the license plate. Let's go, highway monitor guy who's in charge of everyone's speed limit. Worked with the Big Texan years ago. Best rattlesnake ever, yes. Great pheasant and buffalo as well. Hashtag pick your lane. I was working at a restaurant in Arizona and it was in the middle of winter. It was right before New Year's Eve. 
Hey John, we are headed to El Paso right now and then on into New Mexico and Arizona. Are you requesting that? <laughs> Gotta take a vote. Yeah, hashtag yes, hashtag no. Get out of the road, man. Yes, we will drive all night. All right. Really a pain in the ass. Not you, Devin. Pound sign, yes. Use the bullhorn. <laughs> Storm must be severe. The football game is postponed until further notice. Wow. I need uh, I need uh, Kelly to drive real quick then. Coming up on Van Horn. That is correct. We shall lose signal briefly. Do not panic. Do not adjust your set. Do not. Oh, go ahead and go to the refrigerator and get some snacks. Look at these nasty clouds. They're threatening. Culberson County Line. I'll continue with the story, yes. So it was the, uh, late December back in like 97? Is that whatever it was? Anyway, we were uh, place called... Well, I won't even tell you the name of the restaurant because... Make sure we get through here. Just my foil antennas. There we go. Thank you. You should, have, you should be good. Anyway, the uh, some folks came in and they were to have the rattlesnake, which was on the menu. And the server told them that they had no rattlesnake, that we were sold out. And the guy said, well, we flew all the way to Arizona. We picked your hotel specifically for the rattlesnake, which is complete hogwash and uh, was throwing a fit. So eventually they call me, I'm the night manager of the resort. And I go over and I talk to the guy and I said, I'm so sorry, sir. Let me go see what we have in the kitchen. I said, I'll go see what we have in the kitchen. I'll go talk to the chef. I went in the back and I said, uh, you got any rattlesnake left? He goes, no, we sold our bunch uh, yesterday. We've got none in, we can't get any until the first of the year. All right, so I went outside. The guy had been uh, pounding alcohol. It was just a complete, uh, like that driver we just passed. So I said, sir, I believe we have found some rattlesnake. Let me prepare it for you. I am so sorry for the inconvenience. Complimentary, it's on me. I'll let you taste it and tell me if it's the best or worst rattlesnake you've ever had. Well, thank you, my good man. So we went in the back, we chopped up some chicken, deep fried it, put some spice on it, brought it out to him, and he swore it was the best rattlesnake he'd ever had in his life. So we comped it for him because it certainly wasn't rattlesnake. But just went to show the guy was being a, uh, yeah. But we took care of him. We served him what he thought was rattlesnake, made him happy. To this day, I don't think he's ever had rattlesnake in his life. Some people you just can't please. The chicken was actually pretty good. It was squirrel. Yeah, it was rattle squirrel. Uh, take the word out sometimes, Ken. Strike the word sometimes. <laughs> well, I felt bad for the server. I mean, they're working these bad shifts because they're not the top servers because it's during the holidays. And uh, they're just getting the what for. You go out there and defend your team. Do what you got to do to get them a good tip. Advil for the trunk, yes. There's a button back there. You push the Advil button or the Tylenol button and the pills just come flying out. So make sure you only push it once. Uh, Kelly, no, we did not have that for sale in the restaurant, but I believe at the resort it was available pretty much everywhere. These are some awesome clouds for a cloud guy. I'm a cloud guy. Oh, yeah, I got to pull over because of the thing and the guy with the blinky thing. And, yeah. And this one time, guy wanted to have some chicken. We were out of chicken. 
So I went in the back and I grabbed up all the rattlesnake and I put it on a bone and deep fried it and gave him a leg. All right, that was a lie. So what are we doing here? Oh, let's go truck guy. Do you have someone around here? Yeah, another truck. Oh, another one? Stopped. No, no, we wouldn't do roadkill. That'd be nasty. Gotta be nice, even when they're nasty. Yes. You can always talk about them later. Venison, is it illegal to sell? Uh, just as long as you torture them yourself, then you can sell it. I believe is the rule. I'm gonna get right into this storm. I can't wait. Don't forget to put gas. Uh, could have gone outside to kill a rattlesnake. I almost got one one time for the kids, but uh, it turns out rattlesnakes cannot be captured with duct tape. Hey, Coach Chat, Alligator, Princessia, how are you? Burger King has kangaroo, maybe, allegedly. If you look really close to that cloud formation, I can see a loon flying to the right. You see his head sticking out there? Yeah, it's a full-on loon right there. Kangaroo jerky? Snakes, most snakes scare me, not all of them. Oh yeah, totally gonna work in Vegas. Vegas is my uh, job site, my base of operation. It's where the, uh, it's where the people are. There's Stratus, Cumulus, and Nimbus. Strato Nimbus and Strato Cumulo Strato. I don't know what they are. Have you ever tried deep fried gator balls? I have not. Is that like melon balls? They're delicious, just hard to harvest. Dove breast and bacon. Ooh. Just gotta make sure there's no shot in it. That metallic taste. Emu and elk. Bison is nice. I like a good buffalo burger. Strato erecto cumulo clado. Quail is good. I don't, I'm not a big quail guy. I don't know why. They look like pigeons to me. Buffalo tacos? Oh, yeah. Okay, bacon wrapped anything would be good. Is that why the word X is placed in there, Kelly? Platypus filet? <laughs> why is everyone driving slow in the left lane? I'm not sure. I think they're afraid of the weather. Tony, you're landing in Vegas. It's 7 o'clock tomorrow night from Ohio. What's your first activity? What is the first thing you guys are going to do when you get there? You don't have to tell us which hotel, but what part of town you're staying in. And uh, do you need to start a bail fund for you? Always a good idea to have a little bail money tucked away. So your first trip, multiple trips. We want to know. We love to hear about people going to Vegas. I like a little cow liver now and again if it's uh, cooked right. You and your 13 year old daughter going to Vegas in March? Cool. Peacock? Hey now. You've never seen trucks tow trucks like that? 
Bradley, this is almost the strip. The strip is over the next rise, I believe, the Las Vegas Strip. You really have to look uh, maybe with a spyglass and you'll see it. I haven't been to Vegas in many years. Oh, cool, it's changed. It changes constantly. Come on, rain and lightning, where are you at? Many birds are protected. You'll never have like a bald eagle salad. Don't cook the flamingos. Don't mess with flamingos. Exactly. Yeah, liver with onions and gravy and uh, lots of salt and pepper and A1 sauce is delicious as long as the liver's not involved in it. Uh, the cow brains, I forget what they call that, but yeah, some people eat that. Tripe, I think it's called. I'm not, tripe is your tummy. Tripe is your tummy? Oh, what is the brains or something there? Yeah, I don't touch any of that stuff. A giblet gravy, depending on what time of year. Thanksgiving, of course. Barbacoa? Barbacoa? Yeah, I'm yeah. Part. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. You like barbacoa? I do? Oh, Sweet okay. barbacoa. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes, I love it then, apparently. Mad cow disease? Uh, no, no, we don't want any of that. Well, you'd be mad too if someone is eating your brain. Yeah, it's a, it's a convoy. This is a main east-west route. Lots of trucks. Weren't that many trucks coming, but now going back, they're everywhere. Zombies eat brains, yes. See all the way to the other side, so way over there, we'll go over those mountains, but in the middle down here is Van Horn. We'll stop in for gas. I like the liver at Denny's. Then again, I haven't had it in 25 years. Ooh, Big lightning. lightning. Did you guys see the lightning, or is it still buffering? Stay with us. Try to bring you the latest in weather, West Texas weather. You guys are in the buffer? Oh, you missed a huge lightning strike. Huge lightning strike. The same van we followed earlier. They're going home now. Homemade jams and jellies, yes, Mrs. Cash will make those. She's got some great recipes. That'll be part of our cookbook. It's a prison van. <laughs> Texas Department of Corrections. <laughs> Possibly. The, uh, maybe not. It's the next one. Mary's making a cookbook. Cool. We should do a uh, subscriber suggested recipe book. Mikey bags of money. <laughs> Got a, f I don't know, I can't, can't. Spill the beans. All right, if we lose the stream, we'll pick you up on the other side of these mountains up here, because it's going to happen. Do not despair. Nick might be on a different channel, but we will do it. Truck burned out there. Top ramen recipes, bottom ramen recipes, all the ramens. Van Horn internet is not the best, yes. We're also switching from one side of Texas to the other. We're going to go through a time zone shift coming up here.
Right now we're in the uh, Mount or Central Time. In a few miles here, we'll be in Mountain Time. We gain a whole hour, and we'll gain another one in Arizona. As soon as we turn the camera, we're like. Huge looking star. Weren't looking. Uh, yes, we're on our way back already. Real Bronze Zero Three, how you doing? Your uh, office is quite the tourist.